Game of Thrones functioned best when it was concentrated on its fantastic characters, even if there were always large war sequences and unexpected surprises to capture viewers' interest. When it came to several of the important characters, the program did a fantastic job at toying with the audience's expectations and taking them on engrossing journeys throughout the season. It was intriguing to watch how some of these people would evolve over time given all the significant events and difficulties they encountered. Cowards became heroes, villains could be made right, and heroes developed additional layers. Ranker has highlighted the several character arcs that were chosen as the greatest in the series. Another figure who rapidly won over fans' hearts was Arya Stark. She was first introduced as a little child who had no interest in following the expectations of the outside world. It was exhilarating to watch her chase her ambition to become a warrior. Arya provided some of the most entertaining moments in the series as she gained confidence and learned more from each new teacher. Fans most wanted to follow Arya when all was gone and she sailed out into the unknown. One of the few television characters that were always simple to cheer for was Brienne of Tarth. She was instantly likable as a formidable warrior who was consistently mistreated just because she was a woman. But despite living in a society full of dishonorable individuals, Brienne persisted in standing up for what is right. Although many fans had wanted her romance with Jaime Lannister to end differently, it wasn't what made her who she was. It was wonderful to see her achieve her goal of joining the Kingsguard and becoming a knight. Before he made an appearance on the program, Davos Seaworth already had a compelling backstory as a smuggler who helped preserve Stannis Baratheon's castle and was subsequently proclaimed head of his own house. Even if he didn't always concur with Stannis's decisions, Davos continued to advance to a prominent position as the king's hand. The program focused on his endearing relationship with Shireen Baratheon, his grief at her passing, and his rise to the position of Jon Snow's closest advisor. By the end of the series, Davos had progressed from a menial smuggler to a member of the King's Council while still acting morally upright. Although there are many characters in Game of Thrones, Jon Snow gradually seems to take on a more central role. Jon Stark, the underappreciated outcast of the Stark clan, finally found his place in the Night's Watch and rose to its leadership. The most intriguing aspect of all was the revelation that he was the legitimate heir to the Iron Throne and not Ned Stark's bastard. If not for his oddly quiet last season, Jon would have had the strongest character journey in the entire show, but having this man of integrity forced to kill Daenerys to save the day was an unusual way for the character to go out. When Samwell Tarly was first introduced in Game of Thrones Season 1, few viewers would have expected that he would endure the entire series. He was a fresh recruit to the Night's Watch, a self-professed coward and a bad warrior. Sam, however, showed there is more to courage than what is seen in the fight as his trip went on. Sam established himself as a devoted friend to Jon, a guardian for Gilly and her child, and one of the series' sharpest characters. After believing he had no value for so long, he finally discovered his place of importance towards the end. In the beginning, Sandor Clegane, aka the Hound, was not just a cruel figure but also one who didn't seem to have much depth. He was an irate guy who usually acted as Joffrey's goon. When the Hound ultimately reprimanded Joffrey and left, he first won the support of the crowd, but meeting Arya caused him to change for the better. Even though it began as an abduction, the Hound grew close to Arya and guarded her. He even stopped her from taking the same revengeful course that ultimately caused him to lose his life while battling his brother. Sansa Stark was a member of House Stark with the lowest level of likability in the first season of the program. She was a gullible young lady who had dreams of marrying Joffrey and believed that the world was like the love ballads she had heard. It was frequently heartbreaking to watch Sansa discover the reality of the world and have her innocence shattered. However, she also steadily developed as a person and picked up on politics. It was ideal to watch her crowned Queen of the North and develop into probably Westeros's strongest leader after she was the young child who wanted nothing more than to flee Winterfell. Theon played more of a supporting role in Season 1 of the program than he did in Season 2, which focused on his conflict over whether to be a Stark or a Greyjoy. After turning on Rob and stealing Winterfell, he rapidly rose to the rank of the most despised character on the show. 
but when Ramsay Bolton repeatedly tortured Theon, many began to feel sorry for him. Then, he joined his sister Yara after saving Sansa, starting his journey toward atonement. Theon's story concluded with Bran forgiving him as Theon died guarding him, despite the fact that he was still struggling with his troubled history. Except for the fact that he is a very wild wildling, Tormund Giantsbane doesn't really stand out when he is first featured in Game of Thrones. Jon Snow appeals to him, but he doesn't let it get in the way of his quest to defeat the Night's Watch. Tormund gradually adopts Jon's ways and turns into one of his closest friends once Jon demonstrates his concern for the wildlings. The wildling badass also develops into the funniest character in the series, which is especially fascinating given his funny and bizarrely endearing infatuation for Brienne. Tyrion Lannister of Game of Thrones quickly became the fan-favorite character, and even though he was a funny and wise character, it was also obvious that his story had the most potential to be gripping. Tyrion was always trying to establish himself and get the respect he believed he deserved because he had spent his whole childhood as an outcast. But after experiencing more wrongdoing from his own family, he decided to help Daenerys. Even if Tyrion's choices in the last few seasons were disappointing, it was a fitting conclusion to have him return as the Hand of the King and attempt to right his wrongs. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button so I can feel all mushy inside. Also, click the subscribe button while you are there, and then since you are on such a clicking roll, why not click on another awesome video that is already loaded up right here. You don't even have to watch it, just let the video play at 1% while you eat your sushi or something.